Now the Thunderspout Maiden is next in. Two mile, one furlong Maiden hurdle for four year olds and upwards. Animator voice for Danny Hughes at the top. Far Eye Hyde, Thomas Rogers, I like him. Matt Ranch, Paul Derek Hinton, Kingdom of Wine, Joshua Sullivan, Nashara Blitz, Darren Thompson, Pearly King, Martin Lidham, Royal Sultan, Jim Murray, Seven Spanish Angels, Ryan Tamasebi, The Big Yin, Alex Cherry, Broad Stripes, David Hooley, Enemy of State, Paul Rhodes, Golf Blinder, David Robertson, Good Advice, Leon Van Rensburg, Polly Put the Ket on for Graham Clutterbuck, Rainbird, David Hooley, She's All Clued Up for Greg Allen, Tessery Flores for Alex Cherry, Thunder Queen, James Shea, and Zarex for Craig Beckwith. 19 runners in this time, the being called in in the nice weather, and away they go. It's not raining as it usually is on these jump races, and Zarex is one of the first to show from the Shara Blitz and Seven Spanish Angels. Animator Voice is in fourth as they get to the first of the nine flights, which they're very quickly over, and they're racing up. Past the stand. Any minute now, I'll take the flight that'll be the last on my next circuit. And the Shara Blitz and Zarex have pulled well clear of the remainder. The eagle eyed viewers amongst you may have noticed on that card that the Leon Van Rensburg horse, good advice, was a winner last time out. This is a maiden race, and I'm pretty sure that means he must have won the National Hunt flat race last week. And that's why he's been allowed to run in a maiden hurdle. So it's Nashara Blitz who's in the lead then from Zarek second. And then a gap of about five or six lengths to Kingdom of Wine on the inside of Seven Spanish Angels. Then Enemy of State, Animator Voice in the blue with a slightly lighter blue cap. Rainbird in the purple jacket on the rail. Jim Murray's black and red of Royal Sultan are nicely placed. Alex Cherry's two horses are running together. Tessery Flores and the Big Yin. I think Tessery Flores is the one that's closest to us. The pink jacketed Derek Hinton horse, I like him, ranches in between those two. The red rum colours on the rather black horse, Pearly King, is after that one. As they skip over flight number three and looking towards the back, Broad Stripes is just about the back marker. She's all clued up, is also closer to the back than to the lead. But it's Nashara Blitz who's taking them along then. Lickety split as they skip over number four. Uh, slow jump towards the back there by David, David Robertson's golf blinder. But it's Nashara Blitz who continues to show the way to Zarex. Similar looking gap then back to Seven Spanish Angels and Kingdom of Wine. With in between them, Royal Sultan and Animator Voice. Enemy of States also up there as they get over number five. And um, Pearly King's trying to make a forward move as well. And the big yin. And I like him, Matt Rant. Tessie flies after that one. Then Polly put the ket on. I don't know whether Gray missed a few letters out of that one. It's supposed to be Polly put the kettle on, but. Uh, it's definitely Polly put the ket on, whatever one of them is, and it's Nashara Blitz in the lead. From Zarex in second, Kingdom of Wine in third. Maybe Gray had been visiting the Kingdom of Wine when he typed that name in, although I'm pretty sure he told me he doesn't actually drink. So anyway, Nashara Blitz is the leader as they skip over number six. Then Zarex is second, Kingdom of Wine is third. And then Royal Sultan, seven Spanish Angels are still there. They're getting quite well strung out though. They've only got a little more than five furlongs to go and they're coming down towards the third last flight there. And the Shara Blitz has had it pretty much all his own way in the lead so far. Skips over that one nicely. Good jump on the outside by enemy estate. Royal Sultan and seven Spanish Angels are still going well. Zarex is still there. Look at this one bursting through now. Kingdom of Wine coming through to throw down a big challenge. Pearly King's going to try and switch around the outside. But one or two out of the back have got some work to do if they're going to get into the business end of this race. And they're Shara Blitz is kicking on again, leading by a length to Kingdom of Wine in second. Gap of about three then to Seven Spanish Angels and Royal Sultan. Then Zarex on the inside. Enemy of State's trying to get going. Rainbird is running on. They come down to the second last. And over that one they go. Nashara Blitz in the lead by a length still from Kingdom of Wine in second. Seven Spanish Angels is the one who looks to be going best out of the pack. Although Rainbird is running on. Pearly King's trying to run on as well. But it's Nashara Blitz still in the lead. Over the final flight they go. Nashara Blitz lands in front. Here comes Kingdom of Wine and Seven Spanish Angels on the outside. Nashara a blitz ties into the final furlong then leans by half a length but Kingdom of Wine is beginning to wear him down and Kingdom of Wine is beginning to get upon the outside Royal Sultan's trying to look for a gap but it's Kingdom of Wine who looks like he's going to take it Kingdom of Wine needs the line and he gets the line Kingdom of Wine wins it in the shower of its second seven Spanish Angels third then Royal Sultan Birdie King and Rain Bird the field will trail back to far away Hyde and Joshua Sutherland takes it the Shara Blitz led pretty much all the way. And you got Colin after the final flight. You can see the front seven or eight have finished quite away in front of the rest. And it's Kingdom of Wine that takes it for Joshua Sutherland. The Shara Blitz for Darren Thompson second. Seven Spanish Angels for Ryan Tamasebi was third. Royal Sultan for Jim Murray fourth. And Zarex for Craig Beckwith was fifth. <laughs>